Hey guys, Brandon Adkins here with more tips and tricks to help you stay productive in the SOLIDWORKS user interface. We're going to finish this skateboard assembly by copying one of the trucks. I'll use my breadcrumbs here to quickly select that subassembly. And you'll notice I'm automatically presented with the option to move with triad. Not only can I use this to precisely place the components, but it's also great for making the copy of that subassembly. Simply pull using the control key in the direction you wish to make a copy, and you have a quick and easy access to your next component. Also, when creating the mates for this truck subassembly, we can hover over cylindrical geometry to temporarily display temporary axes. We can also use the Q key on our keyboard to temporarily display other reference geometry from these components. Here, we use the example of selecting planes without having to individually hide and show those items, making it nice for quick placement of mates. Now, as we place the final mate, you'll notice that we have the option to accept this mate right from the Quick Mate toolbar. If you'd like to enable this option to view the OK button at the end of your QuickMate toolbar, just make sure to right click your command manager, choose the customize option, and you can turn it on from here. Just a simple checkbox. Not only that, but it's going to allow the ability to flip the mate alignment very easily from the QuickMate toolbar. We'll finish the next steps by placing the fasteners to hold these trucks in place. Now, we're going to use smart fasteners on the existing hole pattern. You'll notice when I activate the shortcut toolbar, I'm able to quickly search for commands. In our case, we already have smart fasteners on the shortcut toolbar, but I can also add it or even click the eyeball to navigate to that command for future reference. Let's go ahead and click smart fasteners and we'll place these in our assembly using this hole wizard hole pattern. Simply add the fasteners. It'll pick the appropriate type for that hole. And we simply need to adjust the length or if you need to change to a different type of fastener that is possible to do from here. At any point, if I decide that I would like to make some changes to one of these components, let's pick the skate deck as an example. I can hop into this design, quickly edit one of my whole wizard features. And if I decide to experiment with different sizes, easy enough, I can simply change those options from the whole wizard. If I decide that maybe I change my mind, I'm going to revert back to an old size or even back to the size that I changed to, you can see it's very simple to undo and redo those operations that I've completed with the whole wizard. In some cases, you may have dismissed messages that you may want to bring back and review in your SOLIDWORKS user interface. There's a separate subsection in your system options to allow you to review those messages and even get a preview of what the entire message is, making it clear and concise for you to bring those back to visibility. For circular or cylindrical items, you may have diametric dimensions that are displayed on screen. If you wish to convert those to a radius, this is available from the context toolbar, making it simple for you to make those changes on the fly. Let's use a quick shortcut to select identical components. We'll pick all of the wheels in our skateboard assembly, and we're going to add those to a selection set. If I needed those for future reference to select those components over and over again, selection sets are a great use case here. I can also add a comment to that selection set. So for other users that I collaborate with, they're able to understand very quickly what that selection set is intended for and access that directly from the feature manager tree. While we're here in the feature manager, let's explore some other options for display of component names. If you have alternate naming conventions that you wish to use, like configuration name or configuration description, the options are available to use primary, secondary, or tertiary naming conventions for each of your components, making it simple to customize your tree view. There might be certain situations where you need to create a very customized section view. In this case, we have the option to use a radial reference, where I can simply pick things like a circular edge or even a cylindrical face, as in the case of these trucks, we'll go ahead and pick one of these cylindrical faces from the base of our truck. Once I've selected that reference, I can very easily specify primary reference point to section through, and I can even rotate about that axial reference that I've specified, leaving a completely customized section view. 
For more tips and tricks, be sure to like and subscribe.